What's up everyone, Art of Patience Metal Fab, and I'm bringing you another side-by-side -side video. And in this one, we're gonna be saying goodbye to the Razor, unfortunately. This one was just a borrowed car so we could develop this roll cage. So we've got the fixture cage up here that's gonna get taken off, and the prototype cage that's going on this customer's car is back from Powder Coat. So we're gonna do a big reveal in a second. This is my first time seeing this thing and it looks awesome. Gary said this is a ghost gray powder coat and the match is really spot on to the panel. Especially impressive considering this is actually an embedded color, it's not a painted panel. We're gonna go ahead and mount this, but before we do, it's worth mentioning how exact this cage that we did here is. If you look at the bolt holes, they're very aligned, which is apparently atypical of a normal factory cage, right? Oh yeah, you gotta wrestle these things on and off. In fact, we have the chassis jacked up if you see down there because when you pull the factory cage, these things actually relax. So it's critical that our fixture cage, which is what's gonna be based for our fixture, is 100% so that when we produce these, the end user isn't wrestling and fighting with theirs or have you know alignment issues with their doors where the doors don't open and close. And from what Gary told me, the OEM cage literally has to be hammered on. So if you ever pull it off, you gotta bang it out. And then if you wanna put it back on, same story with this one. It's in and out and the alignment is perfect. our side-by-side -side videos you'll be familiar with this fixture table that we recently got really the idea of that is now that we have our master cages right here we're able to put it on the table and then using fixtures recreate these without having the actual vehicles here so one of the cool things we got in recently is this pallet of flat cutout pieces you can see that they're in various shapes and they all fit together like a giant puzzle Ben is putting one of them together right now, tack welding it in, and then eventually we're gonna make four or five of those. When we lay it on the table, we can build the cage from that fixture, and it's gonna be precise every single time, giving us the ability to make production versions of these prototype cages.
Well, here it is, the result of Ben and Gary's hard work. He's got the towers all done and these plates that you saw him working on last night, uh, pretty much in. There's a little bit of tweaking left to do, but I grabbed Gary and I wanted to show you where we started, which was on this laptop digitally. Now, I would say this is kind of a future fabrication type thing. We were able to jot all of this out on CAD before we touched any physical pieces. And now we have what we built in CAD, in real life. So what was the process to getting this done? Yeah, so, and this isn't even the end of it, right? I mean, it's a real back and forth process. Razor comes in, scan it, model it, design the cage, build the cage on an actual razor, in this case, an XP Pro, make sure that all the tubing fits the car the way it's supposed to, build one fully welded together, proof of concept. Second one goes together on the car, is only tacked, so we account for any shrinkage that the weld is gonna have. Then we take that CAD model, design it on our fixture model here to get our actual little fixture tabs to work with our tower system. And then we'll take that tack welded cage, put it onto the table, finish fixturing it, which you can see we still got some tweaking left to do some tolerance with the laser work on the tabs. We just got a little bit of clean out to do, a little bit of fit up, and then these things will drop right in. And then the last step, we'll be fixturing our actual mounting feet. Once that's done, we'll fully weld this one on the fixture, make sure that it goes from here onto the car, bolts on the way it's supposed to, and at that point, we're ready for production. The next steps for Gary are to finish the mounting for the feet on this XP Pro cage, but we've already done all that for the earlier generation XP. You see the cage hanging out right here. Now, we just so happen to have a customer that came in with that same generation. What we're gonna do is take that cage, fit it on there, just a proof of concept, make sure everything does mount perfectly, and then we're gonna build a custom cage for him based off of the table, not even using the vehicle, and it's gonna install right on top, bolt in, and be a perfect fit the first time. I'm gonna interrupt myself for a second and make the executive decision to turn this episode into a two-parter. As I'm editing, it is getting pretty long and there's a nice natural halfway point to stop at. So this episode's gonna be a wrap, but part two is coming out in just two days. I've got it all pretty much done and it's a really exciting one. It's got Ben building up the cage and the finished result. So if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and stay tuned for the next one in just a couple of days.